are going to be on the scrolls this morning and as you can tell it is British summertime which is why I've got a beanie hat on and a neck warmer. I'm going to be using the Virac HW100 in 0.22 sub 12. Last time I had this out on the scrolls I managed to get 23 I think. That was one epic way to induce this rifle. So hopefully we'll be able to get some double figures again. This feeder which I regularly visit has just started getting some attention so decided that I need to put some peanuts in the feeder, leave it a few weeks and then see if we can get some down. And it doesn't take long before the first one appears, very early riser. Problem is, it is still a little bit dark, we're still waiting for a bit of light to come in, but it has gone straight up onto that feeder. So I'm hoping we're going to get off to a really good start. Well that didn't exactly go to plan. Just as I pulled the trigger, probably rushing just a little bit, the squirrel flinched and I've put a dent into my squirrel feeder. But I was very fortunate that it didn't run away. Well that was a strange one. I think I rushed the shot a little bit and just put a, a fresh dent into my feeder um, but luckily got that second shot hopefully we won't have any other mishaps like on that first squirrel and as you can see the light is slowly starting to filter in this is only around 15 minutes later after that first one running up the long log of doom straight onto the top of the feeder and now all we need it to do is just settle down just a little bit because I don't want to repeat like the first one but it finally settles down with a peanut That was a much better result. Onto the feeder, pick up a peanut, bang, down. Now we're moving on to possible squirrel number three. You'll probably hear that the wind is starting to pick up. There is quite a lot of wind noise. Usually when a squirrel is in this position, even if it is just messing around a lot, they generally will eventually pick up a peanut. They will generally settle. And that's where I'll take advantage. So it's all about patience when squirrel shooting. And it looks like we're now finally hitting the mark. Bit of a sketchy start, but we seem to be on it now. Three down. And now we're looking at a fourth. Again, onto that log of doom. That's usually a good sign. That means they're heading straight for that feeder more than likely. It's just taking its time. It's going to sit back, relax, keep an eye on it. Watch it for taking a peanut. Hopefully it doesn't run off. And that's when you take your opportunity.
and the HW100 gets another clean kill. So I'm definitely happy with the way the rifle's performing. Me on fall at the very beginning where I missed. Just one of those things. Again with this scroll, onto that log of doom, up onto the feeder. And it just needs to get its fill of peanuts. And then we'll have another one. and we get another straight on headshot. This was probably the longest wait of the morning, had to wait 30 minutes before the next school turned up, which generally is quite a short time anyway, because the morning's going quite quick, they've come in pretty early, so there's quite a lot of early risers in this particular wood. This squirrel isn't too keen on the pile of bodies which seem to be getting slightly larger as the morning goes on, but it's figured that breakfast is probably more important. The squirrel seems to be in two minds as to what to do. So I made the decision for it. Just held itself in one position just that little bit too long. And if I see an opportunity, I'm going to take it. So I've been here about just over two hours. Got seven. And I'm, I'm really happy with how that's going. I'm hoping now that I can get to double figures. I'm going to see if I can get to ten. That would really top the morning off nicely. So I've just set myself a target, trying to get into double figures, the morning's gone really quick, I managed to get 7 in really quick succession, and again I don't have to wait too long at all, and it looks like I could even have a chance of a double. But not quite sure how this is going to pan out. But we've got one which speedily goes onto that feeder, it's quickly tucking in. And if I'm quick enough, the second squirrel is still in the area, so I'm on for a double. So as discreetly as I can, I recock the rifle and just hope that that squirrel doesn't move.
and Mr. Second Squirrel is a bit of a flincher and you can't get cleaner than that. So after that double I decide I'll go and collect those nine that I've shot because they are starting to pile up a bit and I don't want any future squirrels starting to get spooked while I'm on a bit of a roll. Plus it gives me a quick chance just to stretch my legs as well. So this morning's squirrel session with the feeder there and with the hide roughly 18 yards back there. Well that was typical, just went to go retrieve those nine and uh, there was a squirrel there, just come to the feeder, saw me and then just legged it. So that could have been my tenth one, so looks as if now I'm going to have to play the waiting game again because I've just spooked that one, but I'm sure we'll get it. So here's hoping that this squirrel is going to be my double figure squirrel. Once again, just needs to pick up a peanut and settle. And I'll send some lead flying. Well I've finally got my tenth and it nearly landed on a woodpecker which was just feeding on the floor. So now that I have hit double figures I'm feeling a little bit more frisky. So I'm going to stay a little bit longer because it is pretty early still. I'm going to see if we can add a few more to the tally. It's been quite a while since I've got double figures in this wood. I'm really surprised how productive it's been this morning and how quickly they're coming in. I've noticed the feeder been going down because I've been monitoring my trail cameras which have been set up on this feeder. And I was just about getting ready to go so I was feeling quite happy with myself. And then two squirrels appeared. And if these two squirrels have appeared I can't leave just yet. So if I can get at least one of these, that'll be a really good tally to end it on. Just got to let them play with each other first, and see which one will end up on that feeder. And it looks like one of them has finally made a decision. Well I managed to get that 12th one and the 13th one wasn't running away but it was moving up and down very rapidly, very agitated so I had to wait until I could see proper opportunity where I thought I could get it and cleanly take a shot. And that's where I called it for this morning so I've just gone to quickly collect those and that's where I'm ending it. 
that's this morning's squirrel session done. Managed to get 13, I think, and it looks as if the squirrels are repopulating themselves because I haven't had double figures for quite a while in this wood. So I'm really happy with uh, the way the morning went. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you on the next one. So thank you very much for watching.